pulled algas and picked up an algas, a little bit of a pine tree shaped like algas, and held it up to the sun without knowing until I read the definition. It was about reaching out to divine light, protection, and rapid growth, which is a perfect succession to a reversed radio. It has the rolling R of the Scottish dialect as part of how Reiro is pronounced. Protection. I can't do the rolling R. And even as I sit here, my, that noise has disappeared. I hear some distant shots in Michael's direction. The warlock, I know. He's probably working on this guy right now. And I see a whole bunch of puffy white clouds with blue coming towards the sun. I see some dark clouds as well. And I see chemtrails behind those. But I also noticed that after I finished the last video, the air temperature actually went up a little bit. It actually raises and cools as I sit here. So there is an active war between heat and cold, in a sense, going on here. It's being fought out in my own body, between good and evil. I'm going to sit here, and I have to let it work itself out. And that's what I'm going to do. There's that fucking hedge clipper again. You got the competing sounds of frogs and birds. The air temperature seems to be at a standstill. I'm lighting a joint. I know this is an all-too-familiar sight for people. Just a little bit of marijuana. With some water. The water which I was praising this morning as it flowed out of my tap. They're really trying. There, I put water into my body. Uh, three two-legged, uh, two generations. Uh, I don't sense any sort of imminent peril, we'll just see. I found that in a sense, a lot of people tend to leave me alone more as time is going on. In terms of, uh, you know, Elrond's influence. What I call Elrond. Saturnalian Satan. There is some hope to be had in that everything has been so thoroughly twisted you probably can't go wrong just finding something you're interested in and just twisting it in a different direction. You know, look at the knobs of your consciousness, your beliefs, Satan, the devil, Yahweh, and just twist it around. <laughs> twist the nipples of your beliefs. See if they pucker up a little bit, get a little blood into them, and see what they look like when they're engorged. <sighs> I'm speaking flippantly now because my mood is, is changing. I have a little fight in me. Watching the fight in the sky above. We're best to take flight in our minds. Who knew the world could get so cold? Hmm? Let us bang and pummel and clash the forge of the making of our meaning. Come on, son. Come out. Come out, son. Come out, son. Let us raise the Son of Man. 
Let us raise the Son of Man. Come together, all of you who have faith in raising the Son of what you are. Let us raise it together here by this pentagram. Let us raise it here by these allegedly cursed seasons. Let us raise the Son out of all the chemical, stifling, cursed miasma. It becomes even a greater lie the more you attempt to flesh it out. What could be most cursed is that. That becomes even more cursed in our hands. Who would put such thought into something? And what could we make out of it? That some good might be drawn. Like the sun out of a cloudy sky beset with chemtrails. Let us use our scalar energy. Let us use our faith and our hope. Let us use, in turn, the natural cycles of the Son of Man. You can do a lot of things to the sky, Saturn, but you can't stop the sun from rising. You can put it at the center of the solar system, perhaps. You could try to make us forget that we have a constant sun blazing in the sky, in as much as the sun represents the power of the earth and the power of our flesh and blood and the power of what burns inside of us and the power of the cyclical and psychical processes around us. The do what you will with it. The Son of Man will continually take on new flesh. Score it with your curses, though you will. The Son of Man will continually take on new flesh. And your curses should mean nothing to that son, to be as nothing to that son, except that it means something to the people who live on the planet of the sun. And it only means something because they haven't made enough meaning out of things for a while, out of the forge of all that is absolute good and all that is absolute evil, to find that they have been drawing from such a well as that, generation after generation, smiles communicated across the ages like stars across the sky that are neither nor so far nor so cold as you may think but alive with the warmth of the son of man burning in the breast of this good earth that our tolls should run our tongues should run with the current of the river of the son of man as the sun appears from the sky. Yeah, yes, we say. Yes, we say. Yes, we say. Yes, bring out the Son of Man today on this fair earth as we hobble along. <sighs> Let's take a free breath. Let us practice banishing curses together with our scalar energy. Let us enjoy the sun that is provided to mankind as the sky clears up. Come on, Michael. Come on, Michael. Come on, Michael. He's a blessed man that I know. Not many people get to meet men like that. Is that baby? Oh, man. Looks like a dog that belongs to somebody. Oh no, it's a lady's dog. Oh, I know. I don't know their dogs, but they're, they're walking around this way. Oh, more sun. We got chemtrails, we got clowns. My body's moving around a bit better now. Can you see? Can you hear it in my voice? Fuck those fucking demonic pieces of shit. Fuck. They've been attacking me all fucking morning. I gotta do some saging, or whatever you call it, smudging in my house. I'm like fucking the worst fucking witch that ever lived. Fuck. You see a witch that's getting attacked all the time? Like, they're a stupid motherfucker. That's me, motherfucker. I'm a stupid motherfucking witch. Back to basics. Holy fuck. Fucking pieces of shit. Oh, yeah. I'm getting ahead of myself. More people walking. Not walking this way, though. I think I'm gonna get moving. I'm gonna get moving. Find my warlock friend. Hi, brothers and sisters. Hi.
That's the eagle sound. Hi. Thank you.